Hi, my name is Ms. Holcomb. I just wanted to hop on to share a couple of things since we aren't able to be in person for back to school. Here's a little bit about me. This is my 10th year teaching. I have taught second and first grade. This is my family. This is one of the most important things to me. A couple of things I wanted to talk about are green folders. Every day they should be coming home with their green folder. If they're not, we need to make figure out what's going on because they should be coming home with it. I'm pretty sure all of them are by now. This contains their homework. This is what I send graded papers home in. Anything that is in the front of the green folder is something that needs to be signed, looked at, and returned. It is important. Anything that is in the back of the folder is work that we have completed together in class that if they didn't finish, you are more than welcome to have them finish at home. But majority of the time, they should have finished it with us. And so it's just for you to see what's going on in our room, what we're working on. So in case you want to find other things to help them with or create sample problems on paper um, or just go over it with them a little bit, it's not necessary and we don't need it back. It can go in the trash once you're done with it. Graded papers will go home every Monday, except on progress report and report card weeks. They will go home on Wednesday. Papers I need signed and returned as soon as possible. I am required to keep them in a file in case we have to reference them or we lose grades in the grade book and I have to re-enter all of them. So please make sure you are getting those back to me timely. Um, homework, we just started homework last week. So we have spelling words. You'll get a spelling tic-tac-toe on Monday. It is to be completed throughout the week. And then on Friday, well, I won't say Friday because not all tests will fall on a Friday. The test date will be at the top of the tic-tac-toe. And so whatever date is at the top of the tic-tac-toe is when the spelling tic-tac-toe and the activities that they completed needs to be turned in. If they turn in that in at least three activities with their names on them, they will get bonus points on their test. They'll get one bonus point. Um, the other thing for homework that we are starting is, or did start last week, is our math sheet. We will do math fact sheets weekly. They do not need to be timed. They just need to complete them that night, whatever night it's sent home. It won't be sent home on the same night. It may be sent home on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, or a Thursday. They need to be completed that night correctly. So I would suggest checking them and then return the next day. If they do not do their homework that night, they will be required to do it during recess the next day. The only other thing we have for homework is our tricky words, which will be coming home this week. We should have gotten them yesterday. And it is a list of 20 words. You are to study those 20 words Monday through Thursday. And then Friday, we will pick a random 10 words off that list and test them on those 10 words. Those, then that will go home in their graded papers Monday. The only other thing um, I really wanted to talk about in their green folder is a conduct sheet. We send weekly conduct. So every day they get positive and negative dojos. They are rewarded for all of their positive dojos on Friday. And then they get their conduct grade for their negative dojos as well. It is required that you sign the folder and they get rewarded if you sign the folder. They do not get punished if you don't because that's not their fault. So they, but they do get treats and positive dojos if they have their green folder signed on Monday. And that's just to make sure that you are seeing their grades and you know what's going on and what their academic and behavior looks like in our classroom. The easiest way to contact me is through Dojo. And that is the easiest way to keep up with their behavior and anything that's going on in the room. Any updates I will post on Dojo. Any information I have will go on Dojo every week. When we send homework home, it will go on Dojo. I try really hard to communicate as much as I can with having a 10 month old at home. So anything I can send on Dojo, I do. So it's very important that you are on Dojo and connected and checking it regularly. 
I also put my classroom phone number up there, which I will not answer obviously while I'm teaching, but I will, if I'm on break or at lunch, I won't answer it. I also put my Google number on there as well if you need to leave a message for me any other time. I am on break from 2.30 to 3.15, Monday through Friday. We have PLCs on Tuesday, so I'm not available to make or take phone calls that day. But if you would like or need to speak to me on the phone, you can leave a message with the office or contact me on Dojo. I do not make phone calls after school. As you see, I have kids and dogs and a family and they are extremely important to me. And so my family time is very protected. Um, if it is an emergency, of course, I will be more than happy. But if it can be messaged, I would appreciate that so that I can respond whenever I have a few minutes. You can also text my Google number as well. So I think that's it. I hope you have a wonderful night and I am looking forward to a wonderful school year.